Good morning, everybody. Um, good morning, Indigo, Indigo Group. Good morning, Cornflower Group. Good morning, Blush Group. And good morning, anybody who is watching us at home. Today, we are going to do some revision, which means looking at something you already know, of our split digraphs. So let me hear you say really nice and loud what these split digraphs say. What does this one say? Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Say it again. Okay, right. Stop. In my group, we had two different sounds there. But actually, that's right. Sometimes this says oo, and sometimes it says you. So well done if in your group you got two different sounds for this split digraph here. Sometimes it says you like tune i will play a tune tune sometimes it says ooh like flute i will play a tune on my flute so sometimes it says you sometimes it says ooh so well spotted if you got that one uh next one what does this one say ooh, ooh it doesn't what does it say oh. Oh, 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 or oh. I think you say it a little bit different from me. Oh, okay. There we go. Like I was digging in a hole. A mole was digging a hole. Okay, fantastic. Next one. What does this one say? I, 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 I will ride a mile on my bike. Okay, next one. What does this one say? E. e. It's another way of saying the E sound. We don't have this one very much in English words, but we have a few names that has the E sound in here. And that is Steve. You might have a daddy or an uncle or a granddad called Steve. And the V, V, V sound would come in the middle. You might know somebody called Eve. Or in a word like evening, evening, evening. So it's not a very common split digraph, that one. Okay, and our last one. This one. Oops. What does it say? A, 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 A. Well done. Okay, so we are going to do some words with those sounds in them. So let's have a look for real words and nonsense words and see if you can tell, whoops, I've got jumping words here. See if you can tell me which split digraphs are in these words. Okay, so some of them are quite long, some of them are short, so we will need to concentrate. I'll try and hold this a bit closer so you can see it. Okay, sound out this word for me, please. I Inside. inside we need to play inside today because it's raining so there we go look inside inside okay Shh. my group you're going to have to be a little bit quieter unless I ask you to speak otherwise the other children won't be able to hear so okay now I'm going to ask you to sound out with me come on my group mm. A P O L. Say it again. M A O L. Maypole. Maypole. No, it's maypole. We dance around the maypole in the springtime. Maypole. It's that, we have one at school, it's got a big stick up the middle and it's got ribbons all around the outside and we dance around it. Okay, next one. Oh, hang on a minute, I can see a sneaky alien here. So this is going to be a load of old rubbish, let's sound it out. Oh, ood, flood, or it could say flood, we don't know because it's a load of nonsense, but flood is probably right, flood. So our split digraph here is the U with the E. Shh, shh, shh. My group, you can't talk because otherwise the other children, oops, can't hear. Let's have a look at this one. 
Quite a long one, so you need to hold this sound in your head. Are you ready? Mm. Um, we seem to have gone quiet all of a sudden. Can we join in? Let's start again. Mm. Mm. I O. Do it again. Mm in w I O. Meanwhile, meanwhile, remember um, with a longer word you can sound out half of it. Mm in mean and then do the other half of it. W I L while. Mean while. Meanwhile. We were doing something. Meanwhile, a helicopter appeared on the playground. Right. Okay, so here is our alien again, just here. Sound out this word. My group, can you join in, please? It's not ot, is it? it? The whole reason that we're doing this is our split digraphs. So it's uh, oak, floke, floke. Not a real word at all, floke. It's an alien, that's why we've got our alien on here so we can see it just there. Okay, next word. R-U-D. Rude, how rude, Mrs. Bedford says, how rude. Oh, we've got an upside down one here. So let's have a look at this one. Shh, A. A shape. shape shape right oh here's a really long word we look at this real in fact there's two words it's somebody's name because there's a capital letter here so let's have a look whose name this is mm, it is my name you're right miss f o a e m h a m Miss Fotheringham, and you're right because the A sound at the end of my name is made by a split digraph. Fotheringham. It is a very long word, that one. And our last word, oh look, another alien word. So there is our alien. Here we go. Prake. What does that mean? Load of old nonsense. Prake. It's just an alien word. Okay, well done. You will need your whiteboard and your pen, or if you're at home, a pencil and a piece of paper, or your home learning book. I am going to ask you to write some words now. And all of these words, if they have the A sound, the I sound, the O sound, or the U sound, or the U uh -uh sound, you are going to make these with the split digraph spelling that we've just been looking about. Um, so, can you first of all write the word plate? Plate. Eight. Remember split digraph spelling. Eight. Plate. It doesn't need a capital P, no, because it's not somebody's name. P uh, eight, plate. Next word, smile. The I-I sound is being made by the split digraph. Smile, smile. Give me a smile, smile. Have we done that one? Smile. Okay, really long word coming up. Meanwhile. So let Miss Fothers give you some top tips for this word. The E sound is made by the E A spelling of E, and the W sound is made by the W H spelling of O. So, m, m, e, n, w, 
I, oh, hang on, I need to put this down. I haven't got enough fingers. Let me try again. Okay, so, m, e, n, w, i, o. Meanwhile, six sounds in that word. The e sound with the e, a, and the w sound with the w, h. M, e, n, w, i, o. Meanwhile, and your last one is another long one, listen carefully. Trombone, trombone. Miss Father's sister plays the trombone. Mrs Dowling plays the cornet, but Miss Father's sister plays the trombone. T -r -o -m -b -o -n. Miss Wilkinson, could you just have a look here? Thank you. Trombone. T -r -o -m. Trom -b -o 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 -n. But trombone, the O sound is spelt with a split digraph. So, let's have a look at our words. Okay, so here is our first word. It doesn't matter if you don't get it right, we will just correct it as we go along. So our first word, eight, plate. If you got it right, give yourself a tick. If you didn't, just fix what you got wrong. Remember, it's the split digraph to make the AA sound here. Our next word here is smile. Mm, I, o, smile, smile, smile. Give yourself a tick or fix what you got wrong. Okay, here is our tricky word, meanwhile. So we started with the mm, we had the E, A spelling of the E sound, mean, w, I, O. You need a big tick if you got that one right, because that one was quite tricky. Meanwhile, meanwhile. Okay, and our last word here is trombone. T -r -o -n, trom -b own trombone trombone that is really tricky T -r -o -m -b -own. trombone give yourself a tick if you got it right or fix anything correct uh anything that you got wrong right super duper Rub those out because you're going to need some uh, space on your whiteboard. Or if you're at home, just go to the next line for our sentence. I hope you've turned your brains up to the really high setting. I would like you to write, I hope I have time to ride my bike. That's a long sentence. So let's say it again. Okay, I'll say it first and then you say it. Listen. I hope I have time to ride my bike. Now you say it. I hope I have time to ride my bike. Okay, so let's count how many. I hope I have time to ride my bike. Oh my word, that is nine words in that sentence. I hope I have time to ride my bike. I hope I have time to ride my bike. Nine words. Right, go. Don't forget your finger spaces. I hope, with a split digraph, I have is a key word. Time with a split digraph for the I, I sound. I hope I have time to ride, split digraph for the I, I sound. 
my bike. I hope I have time to ride my bike. I'm just going to turn around and see how my gang are doing. Right, how are we doing, guys? Have we got halfway? I hope I have time to ride my bike. I hope I have time to ride my bike. Wow. Okay. Quite tricky. Let's have a look at how we did. Are we nearly done? I hope I have time to ride my bike. The I I sound in bike. Okay. I've just realized we do. Oh, we just have one. Okay. Okay. So, are we ready to have a look? I'll just give you one more minute. I hope I have time to ride my bike. Good girl. Bike is your last word. Bike. Remember, it's a split diagraph for bike as well. Okay, let me have a look. Mrs. Hussain, can you give me a wave if your children are ready? Yes, oh, Miss Hussain's group's ready, so let's have a look. Okay, so, oh my goodness, I'll try and put this in the middle of the screen. So I have underlined our keywords that we can't sound out. Everything else we can sound out. So, I hope, I hope, I have have I'm to ride my bike. So let me pull, hold that a bit, whoops, a bit closer so you can see. Really tricky. I hope I have time to ride my bike. That was a long sentence today with one, two, three, four split diagraphs in it. I hope I have time to ride my bike. If you got that right, you can give yourselves a big star because that was tricky. If you didn't get it right, just use your pen or you, if you're at home, you could use your green pen to fix the bits, to correct the bits that aren't right. I hope I have time to ride my bike. Excellent work, gang. Okay, we will see you tomorrow. And get those thinking brains on for your phonics. Okay, bye. bye.